Hi, this is JP from Not A Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another episode of Chaos Magic, and this time we are playing the uh, Spider Woman uh, Aggression Leadership deck against Green Goblin Mutagen Formula on standard difficulty. And the modular set for Green Goblin is the Master of Time, so Kang uh, probably will make an appearance at some point. So, I'm not gonna talk a lot on the deck we have, I'll just put it quickly on the screen and I'll add a link to the upper right corner if you want to check out the deck building uh, episode. So I will talk up more, a bit more on that uh, deck building episode on the deck and the synergies within, but here is the deck list at least if you want to just quickly look through it. But uh, that is enough of the deck. Uh, we have set up the scenario, so we have a Goblin Troll in play. And uh, we have uh, already put um, these tokens here. So when we activate Spider Woman's um, aspect abilities, we will flip these over. So we see the plus on the stat boost for Spider Woman. Other than that, uh, nothing much to say, so uh, let's just <laughs> see how this goes. So let's get started. I have pre shuffled the deck, so let's draw our opening hand of six cards. And uh, we get Contaminant Immunity, Angela. Another Contaminant Immunity, Iron Man, Inconspicious, and Comms Implant. So right away we don't do anything with the Comms Implant. Uh, I think Iron Man is too expensive. Okay, let's think. Uh, we can play Angela, which will give us plus one. But it will get us another uh, minion. We can play using one of the contaminant immunities inconspicuous to remove uh, two threats and get the plus one then we get two other cards to play contaminant immunity but that really doesn't do much. so I think I'm mulligan in those three so um, looking for trouble another inconspicuous and here's the strike Okay, I think we can do something with this hand. Not sure if I'm playing Angela. I think I'm playing the Piercing Strike. Use those. Um, we could play Angela and then Inconspicious. Okay, that is our plan. So, first things first, uh, we'll play Angela. So we, uh, after Angela enters play under your control, search the top 10 cards of the encounter deck for a minion and put it into play, engage with you, shuffle the encounter deck. If a minion was not put this way, discard Angela. So, okay, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven. Then, and we get a bunch of minions and we'll pick a Goblin Troll. We don't want to put uh, Kang into play or the Goblin Soldier, because those are harder to remove. And at this point we are not uh, trying to hit Green Goblin yet, we are just building up. Okay, then I'm using the double agent, uh, the action on Jessica Drew. Look at the top card of any deck, limit once per round, so I'm looking for this. And we know the card that will come up is for the Goblin attack, is plus two boost. Then uh, we played, actually, yeah, it doesn't matter because yeah, I, I thought I uh, messed up because I need to be in uh, Spider Woman to flip 
these, which I forgot. Okay, I haven't played a Spider Woman in a decade, I, it feels like. So, he'll flip. Then I'll play in Conspicious to remove a total of three, three threats from our mount schemes in play. So, we remove two from here. Then we get this. Then I'll use the Looking for Trouble and Conspicious to play Piercing Strike to defeat one of these. Then we have plus two, so we will defeat Goblin Troll, and Angela will actually hit Green Goblin for one, uh, two damage. And that is our turn. So we ready up, we draw back up to five. Uh, we get Wasp, uh, Pheromones, the Power of Aggression, Energy, and Team Training. Okay. That is the hero turn. Uh, we'll go to the villain phase. We add a threat to the main scheme. Uh, Green Goblin attacks. I will defend. Actually, yeah, I'll just defend because I have a defense of three. So uh, we know this is a plus two, so we'll take one damage. And we'll add a threat to the main scheme because uh, Green Goblin dealt us a damage. Encounter card is uh, Ancient Grudge. When revealed, Kang Master of Time activates against you. If Kang Master of Time is not in play, search Encounter deck and discard card for Kang Master of Time and put him into play. Engage with you. Shuffle the Encounter deck. So, as I said, we will probably see Kang, and if, uh, Kang came up uh, right away on the first turn. So, now we have to really try to defeat Kang before uh, Kang comes to a big of a problem for us. That will slow us down quite a bit. Okay, well, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So these get resetted at the end of the turn actually already. So let's see. Uh, I think I'm playing good play. Okay, let's think about it a bit. So uh, pheromones will stun and confuse an enemy. Uh, we could stun and confuse. Green Goblin. Uh, we want to play Wasp, so when we use this, uh, it is two uh, energy icons, so we get two counters on Wasp. Just thinking that we want to get more. I think we don't have resources today because uh, we want to use energy for the pheromones. So we'll play Wasp. Comes to play with two pin particles. So we get this red one. Then we'll play pheromones. And uh, we'll stun and confuse uh, Green Goblin. Get this one, and that is all we can do. So uh, we'll hit the top off. We'll hit uh, Kang for three damage. So we can clear Kang next turn, and that is it. So uh, we're ready up. I'm actually keeping the team training. Cards. We get Tenacity, Reinforced Suit, another Pheromones, Moxie, and Team Training. Well, the Moxie is not that good, but I think we are using that. Next turn. Okay, uh, we'll go to the villain phase. We add a threat to the main scheme. Green Goblin is stunned. Um, Kang will attack. 
I will defend with uh, Spider Woman. So put Coupling Soldier in play engage with you. So we take no damage. And uh, Coupling Soldier hits us for one. And we get an encounter card. And it's time displayed soldier, so deal yourself one face down counter card for the next turn. Here. Uh, no, it's it's another boost. It just comes into play. So instant one search. It comes into play and it searches, and we get ambitions and reveal discard X card from the encounter deck where X is equal to double the stage number. Each time a coupling minion is discarded this way, choose to either take three damage or put that minion into play. So the stage is one, so we discard two. No goblin minions, so we are okay. And uh, that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. So, as we can see, we are getting swamped by enemies, but uh, we have pheromones in hand, so we can we can do some stuff. But I think we want to. Yeah, this uh, get resetted again. So I will play the team training. I'll use Moxie and Tenacity to play that. So now we can hit with Wasp and Wasp won't get defeated and kill off Kang Master at the time. Then uh, I think we just play the reinforced suit on Wasp. So Wasp has plus two hit points, so we can use Wasp even longer. And I think Angela will block an attack for us. But um, just uh, yeah, Angela has plus one health, so we could actually hit Angela. So we'll hit with Angela, and we'll hit the Goblin Soldier for damage. That is our turn, we ready up, and I played uh, one blue card, no red card, so five cards, one, two, three, four, five, actually I'm thinking, should I go to other, I think that's, uh, we'll get two from here, so three, four, five, six, seven. no, we can't go because then we would advance, so we just Five cards. I haven't seen a lot of the uh, signature cards. So self-propelled glide, hog, finesse, and power leadership and Jessica Cruz apartment. So I think we're trying to get rid of some of the threat and uh, maybe go to alter ego. So let's go to the hero phase. Uh, I mean the villain phase, and we add a threat. Green Goblin attacks, and Angela will defend. So, 2 plus, on Angela is defeated, but we won't add any threat. Then, I'll just take the damage from these two, so we'll take 3 in total. Encounter card for this turn is gang up. Uh, Oh crap, that is a nasty one. So, I think we have to defend. Yeah, um, yeah, I hate to see us go, but I think we have to. Well, uh, let's defend with. Well, let's just take the Green Goblin attack. So, 2 plus 3 is 5. Ouch. We add one threat here. Mm. We'll defend against the time displaced soldier so we don't take any damage. 
and wasp will defend against the goblin soldier so wasp is one damage away from getting defeated or actually we have two three four four so two damage away yeah that is correct okay well uh, that is that turn let's go to the next turn Okay, well, mm, that gang up really messed up our uh, game here, so we'll have to try and get something done at least. So, play Pug. Or actually, I'm using the power of leadership. Uh, Jessica Cruz apartment to play Finesse. And I'm using Ines and self profile Clyde to play Pog. And Pog will... Yeah, will dwarf for one. We are advancing, I, we can't... Uh, we can't uh, avoid that in any way. So I will flip to Alter Ego. Let's just... Uh, this will be the card which we will get, so get from above. Green Goblin will scheme. Okay, well, that is uh, not any, in any way avoidable. So, play the red card. I will ready up. We draw back up to six. Uh, we get uh, comms implant, power of leadership, brute force, dive bomb, falcon, self propelled glide. So uh, we'll probably play falcon next turn to get rid of the threat that will get added to the next uh, agenda or the uh, main scheme. But uh, we'll go to the villain phase. Uh, we'll add one threat. Uh, Green Goblin will not scheme, we will not the confused, but these guys will add one and then one on the second one. So we just advance and we start with uh, four plus one. Okay, and the X is equal to the number of Goblin enemies in play, so it's uh, plus two each turn. Uh, we'll get an uh, encounter card, and it is uh, death from above, so green goblin schemes for one, plus two, plus three. So, uh, we are at eight of eleven. Really need to get rid of a lot, a lot of that threat now, and get rid of those minions next turn, but uh, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So, first thing first is that we will heal. A little help from that, but that is not enough because we really need to go to hero mode. So, uh, we'll check the top card here. This fear of Kang. Cannot attack Kang, that is uh, two boost icons, so mm, we'll know that the Green Goblin will hit for two plus two, so four. I will flip, I will play Falcon, so I'm using the power of leadership, comms, fan, and finesse. Play Falcon, we'll look at the top, uh, top three cards, so actually, yeah, we have a only one. Red cherry, which is a shame, but we can choose the order, so we'll keep the Goblin Knight uh, at the bottom. And actually, we'll switch these so we'll get this as a boost card, comes into play, but Fear of Kang doesn't do that much at the moment, so that is better for us in the uh, villain phase. Then I will, so I played a blue card, 
and uh, I'll use dive bomb to play self propelled glide. We will actually before that I will use fog to we remove two with falcon. Fog will remove one more. Then I will ready self propelled glide and. Uh, Puck will heal one, and Falcon will Falcon will heal, uh, remove two more threats. And uh, can play the brute force, unfortunately. So Wasp will hit uh, Open Soldier, defeating it. Actually no, let's just keep the Goblin Soldier and hit this guy, because this guy hits for more. And we won't take the damage from the Goblin Soldier. And I will twerk for 2 damage. That is our turn, so we ready up. Was this one away from defeating? And we'll discard the brute force. So it's useless at the moment. Actually, it's not. It's one cost, and we'll get a strong hit next turn with Spider Woman. Keep it, and we get uh, Captain Marvel, Team Training, Venom Blast. Fine weight and both force. Okay, uh, we'll add uh, two threats here. Green Goblin attacks. I will uh, defend with Hog. Yeah. So we get the Goblin troll. And Greek Goblin hits for 2 damage, which is enough to defeat uh, Pog. Then these guys hit, and uh, I will take the damage with uh, Spider Woman. That is that, so. Blast deals 5 damage. So, yeah, encounter card is uh, Fear of Kang, which will attach to us. Nothing as long as Kang is not in play. And that is the villain phase, so let's go to the next zero phase. Okay, uh, a small backsee now, because we actually uh, got. Uh, we can, can't alter the uh, order of the cards, so we got uh, actually Fear of Kang as the boost card for the Green Goblin attack. And the Goblin Troll only comes into play, so it doesn't hit. So I think that is correct now. So Buck got defeated either way, but uh, we actually were better off doing it that way around. Okay, well, on this turn, we will definitely play Captain Marvel. So, we'll have to spend all of these cards to play Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel will. Well, uh, Wasp will kill off the Goblin Soldier. Uh, so, yeah, we'll take one damage. And Wasp will get defeated. And 
Uh, Captain Marvel will hit for two, we'll draw a card, we get Yondu out there. And, uh, Falcon will uh, defeat uh, Goblin Troll. And I will actually flip down to Alter Ego Field. Have five health, and we'll keep Yondu in hand. Probably we'll play Yondu next turn, so we'll draw back up to six. Have one card in the deck. A Venom Blast, get over here, strength, self propelled flight, yes, and strike Yondu. Go to the villain phase, we only have one, and we'll play. Uh, Green Goblin schemes. For one plus one two after its ends, we shuffle this so get three, so we are at seven. We shuffle the Goblin Knight back into the counter deck. Then we get an encounter card, and it is God of Guard, discard and upgrade or support to control. Uh, yeah, we really want to keep the team training in place, so we discard that, and that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. First thing first, we will... Uh, let's look at our own uh, deck, because we will get a finesse when uh, Captain Marvel attacks, so I think we'll do that. Uh, we will actually... At four, so we remove two from here. We draw a card, get an extra encounter card, shuffle our deck. Then uh, we'll heal for three damage. Uh, we'll flip. I think we will uh, play. Venom Blast, we deal 5, uh, we'll thwart for 2 more here, uh, we'll play Self Propelled Glide ready, and uh, we'll use the Piercing Strike and Yon to play the Finesse. Just to have it up next turn. Yeah, I, I think we, we can't save any card or play anything more. Okay, so I will just port for two here and we'll ready up. Draw back up to five. We have a dive bomb, finesse, contaminant immunity, piercing strike, and bombs in the plant. We'll add a threat to the main scheme. Uh, Green Goblin attacks. Uh, Falcon will defend and get defeated. Uh, we get an encounter card. So we get two. We have the Goblin Knight comes into play and Ancient Grudge. Okay, if Kang uh, is not in play, first encounter deck and disrupt all Kang Master of Time. So, unfortunately, Kang Master of Time comes to play again. Here he is. And comes into play with Tough. So, that is a really annoying enemy to have. That is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, let's see what we can do on this turn. Uh, we unfortunately don't have Aerial, which would have been really good with the Dime Bomb. So, I think first action we'll just remove the tough and draw a card. Our leadership doesn't help us get uh, anything. So, uh, Captain Marvel is one away from the defeated. The team training is doing a lot of work here. Uh, 
Mm, I think we have to defeat Kang Master of Time and just uh, try to defeat the Goblin Knight later. We can't defeat Kang Master of Time yet, but actually we could play Piercing Strike. Get the other finesse in play. Die bomb and the power of leadership. Yes. Both finesse is to play Pearson Strike with healer. The damage. Did we drop card? Yeah, I think we did. No. So. Oh, let's get one, two, three, five, six. Yeah, did we did. Yeah, we can't play the comms in plant, it's just a shame. Uh, we are so close to defeating Kang, but not, that is not enough. I think uh, we, let's back up. I won't play the DNS. So <coughs> we'll use one finesse and the other finesse to play the Pearson Strike, so we deal uh, Three damage here. We we'll use dive bomb and come in plan to play the contaminant immunity, and we'll hit can for three. And uh, we, we got tough from the oh yeah, and we healed three, so we're full, fully healed, and we have tough. That is our turn. At least got rid of the uh, Kang. One, two, three, four, five. We have Venom Blast, Self Propelled Glide, Boss, uh, Power of Aggression, and the Power of Leadership. So we'll go to the villain phase. We have two threats here Green Goblin attacks. I'll take it with uh, Spider Woman. So. So we get monster and we get plus two, so four damage, but we just remove the top, so shuffle the monster back into the upper deck. Then green goblin will uh, goblin knight will hit for two damage. And that is it, so we get an encounter card and it is a goblin. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So this turn uh, we have some options. We can try to get rid of uh, the Goblin Knight. So I think we are using the uh, Power of Aggression to play Venom Blast. Yeah, these are resetted. We get this and deal 5 here. Then I think I will hit two, two here, defeating that. I will use power of leadership to play self propelled glide already. I will use finesse to play wasp, uh, comes into play with one. Uh, we'll hit uh, three there and hit again for two here and take one damage from the uh, Goblin Soldier. But at least we got everything clear, so I think Captain Marvel will uh, thwart and get defeated, or we will just walk with Captain Marvel. So, yeah, no, let's just remove two. And that is that, so we're ready up. Go back up to five. Uh, line wait. Jessica Drew's apartment, inconspicuous. Iron Man and looking for trouble. 
Uh, we add one threat to the main scheme. Green Goblin attacks. I think I won't defend this turn. Yeah, so I'll just take it to the Spider Woman. Kill yourself one face down and count the card. So, uh, two damage. And then we get the encounter cards. Uh, Shadows of the Past. So we get Viper. Viper's Ambition. And Hail Hydra and two Hydra regulars go into the encounter deck. So, Viper is a two scheme, two attack, elite Hydra, five health. While a Viper is engaged with you, your hand size is reduced by one. And Viper's Ambition, uh, when revealed, plays an additional one threat here for the player, so it comes to level 3, and it gives an extra encounter card, so we need to get rid of that too. And the second card was Assault. So, Green Goblin attacks. I think I'm just taking it. So, 2 plus goblin troll into play, so we take 2 more damage, so we're at 4, and that is that, so that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. So we really need to get uh, rid of Viper, and uh, how we do that is a different thing, so we can hit with wasp and play something so, I think I'm playing, uh, looking for trouble. No, I'm, I'm uh, using that to play inconspicuous. Uh, we remove three from here, and uh, I'll hit. Uh, I play. Okay, let's let's think about it for a moment. Uh, we can play line weight, keep Iron Man in hand or discard. Anyway, we get plus one here. So I think we'll still defeat the Viper, and that is that. So we're ready up. We'll discard Iron Man. Expensive. We'll get uh, Pheromones, Tenacity, Pog, self Glide, and Moxie. We'll go to the villain phase. Uh, we add two threats here. Bring Goblin attacks. I will defend uh, 2 plus 2 is 4. And I have a defense of 3, so I'll take 1 damage and 1 from the Goblin Troll. Get an encounter card, and it is overrun. So that is that. So we get two boost because here. Okay, and that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Okay, well, mm, we'll play. Pheromones and we'll stun and confuse Green Goblin. Then we will uh, Oh yeah, and we have this in play and the goblin troll did the goblin troll come to play? can't remember. No, uh, it was um, earlier. Yeah, I'm just playing the self-propelled flight ready. And uh, remove this to get rid of it. And uh, we 
discard two cards, we get a uh, couple of soldiers, so this triggers the three. And that is it. I'll uh, flip Alter Ego. And that is our turn. So we keep Pug and we'll draw five more cards. Contaminant immunity, pheromones, energy, comes in plant, team training, and pog. Go to the villain phase. Uh, we are three here. We're really close to losing on threat, actually. Uh, Green Goblin doesn't scheme, but these guys do. So we're five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We are one away from getting defeated by threats. Encounter Cardis and we lose. Uh, Green Goblin schemes with X, scheme where X is equal to villain stage number. So, yeah, can just that one, and that's enough. So, unfortunately, uh, we were uh, able to stabilize a couple of times, but that Kang really slowed us down on key moments of the game. Also, that one. Uh, gang up really messed up our early game, so we got a swamp with attacks from uh, Greek Goblin and uh, Armenian. I think there was Armenian play at that moment, but I can't remember now. But yeah, still um, Green Goblin even on standard difficulty and especially with the Master of Time modular set is not a joke. It is really hard and especially when you're playing with the chaos generated a random deck like I am, I'm here so uh, still as always um, playing these challenges on the chaos magic series I really enjoyed the game it really made me uh, think hard on my place and try to do the best I can and I feel that Marvel champions should be considered as a challenging game and have fun trying to beat the challenge not that you beat the villain each and every time so hope you guys like this playthrough thanks for watching and until next time